athlete. Keep grinding cause one day it'll be your day. You have to be your own leader, make your own way. Hey guys, what's going on? Junior here and today I'm going to be reviewing an album for you guys. And that album is uh, The Dreaming Rose Project by Dom Devereaux. So, Alright, so Dom Devereaux, from what I can gather, is a 27-year-old rapper from California. And if you've never heard of him, that's fine. I don't blame you. So all of you should be thanking me right now because I'm giving you a prime chance to be a hipster for once in your life. Go over to his SoundCloud page, I'll put the link in the description. I know it was kind of cool how this video came about. He actually hit me up, sending me a message on YouTube asking if I could review the album, which was kind of cool. So yeah, that's kind of an introduction to the record. It was good, easy listening, and it was pretty easy to put on as well. Just listen to it, just enjoy it, have fun. It didn't blow my mind or anything, but you know what? For what it is, it's not too bad. So let's get into it and talk about some raps. So what I'm going to say right off the bat is that the biggest strength this record has is the stories that it tells. In it, he talks about his life and his experiences. He hasn't had an easy life, that's for sure, so the songs definitely reflect that. His content will range from inspirational songs to reflective songs to broken-hearted love songs to songs that talk about how he wants to be a better person and how he's struggling with his everyday life. And like I said, this is probably the best part about the record. It doesn't feel fake at all. It's not just another rapper talking about, oh, he grew up in the ghetto and man, life was so rough. Feel sorry for me. Now I own like 26 million pairs of shoes. Wow, I can't believe I came from nothing. It doesn't sound like that. It sounds like he's just being earnest and he's being introspective, and he's being very personal on the record, which I can appreciate. And I commend him for being able to put his life down so well in his songs. It was really nice to, to listen to and hear. And all the songs of the record as a whole have kind of this melancholy vibe. It's pretty relaxed, it's pretty laid back. I mean, this isn't like a Young Money album or anything, okay? It's introspective. It's thoughtful. All right, let's talk about his actual rapping for a second right now. So for pretty much all the songs on the record, he's got kind of this laid back flow. It's very chill. You can take it or leave it, I guess. The more relaxed vocal delivery does work in the context of the album though, because the focus is more on what he's saying and the stories he's trying to tell, like I said earlier, and not really how he's saying it or anything. He's not a chopper or anything like that. So if you're a fan of somebody like Tech 9 or the more recent Eminem things, you might not be enthralled by this guy's rapping. He's not a technical rapper. And that might have changed my views as well, because I do like technical rappers, I do like good flow. It doesn't have to be like rap god crazy all the time. I mean, you don't have to be a chopper or a technical rapper to have a good flow. I mean, look at somebody like Oral Sweatshirt. He's very relaxed, very laid back, but just the way he says his bars, they kind of just burrow into your mind and stay there. So in that regard, this record isn't as good. The flow is forgettable, like there aren't any individual lines or lyrics that really stood out to me, which is too bad, because some of the songs as a whole really did come together well. But part of having memorable lyrics is having a memorable flow. And the only other negative thing I could really say about the record is that the beats weren't really as memorable either. He got a bunch of different producers and beats for the record, but they all end up kind of sounding like that non-mainstream rap beat. Like the, I'm a hip-hop producer now and I make beats, but I don't make pop beats, I make for real hip-hop. Check my thing out on Shadowville.com. Uh. Kind of like watered-down Action Bronson type. Beats. I'm only saying that because I just came off of listening to Dr. Dre's new album and the production was really good on that album So maybe that's kind of just stuck in my head right now So I'm really looking for good production But before y'all get mad at me and say that I'm a hater There is one song that kind of contradicts both of the negative things I just said about the record and that song is Devil in Prada So Devil in Prada is the last song on the record. It's actually classified as a bonus track, but it's got this interesting, almost jazzy beat that really stood out to me that I really enjoyed listening to. He's actually switched up his flow, it sounds really good. It's not as personal as his other songs are, but it sounds really good. So I really enjoyed that song a lot. It was definitely an album highlight for me. So yeah, that's pretty much what I thought about the record. Thanks for the request though, man. That was really cool. I really enjoyed listening to your album, and I actually did enjoy it. I thought it was a decent record. I listened to it like quite a few times, and I don't want to like set myself on fire or anything, so that's a good thing. I'll probably keep listening to it, listen to it another again down the line. We'll see. Yeah, like I said, check it out. I'll put the link in the description below. It's free, so, you know, why not check it out? Be a hipster. Grow a mustache. Wear suspenders. Get an undercut. Cuff your jeans up to your knees. Get hairy arms. Tattoo those hairy arms. Wear fake glasses. Wear a hat. Wear a dumb hat. Drink out of a jar. Go vegan. Go gluten free. Just do juicing. Go on a cleanse. Do crossfit. Go jump off a cliff. Whoa, what's going on? Uh, thank you for watching this video and this review. Make sure to like and comment and subscribe. I don't even care if you like the video.
So yeah, thank you again to Dominic Devereaux for the album suggestion. I'm glad you did that. I'm glad you hit me up. Well, I butchered that one, so, you know, swag. You gotta drop it like it ain't no sky And then you gotta take that leap and just fly Mama, you gotta fly Brother, you gotta fly Mama, you gotta fly Brother, you gotta fly